court on May 31st for driving with a revoked license and failure to reduce speed to avoid a crash. Two people are dead after separate incidents involving off-road vehicles over the weekend. A 58-year-old woman was killed in Muscatine and a 25-year-old man died in Knox County. TV6 Investigates' Matt Christensen has taken a closer look at ATVs and UTVs today and learned more about the dangers. Matt, what can you tell us? Now, the woman killed in Muscatine was named Elizabeth Hackett, and sadly, she and her family were on a memorial ride for Elizabeth's husband, Jeff, who had died from a sudden illness in November. The family struck a deer and rolled their UTV, that's a utility task vehicle. Some people call them side-by-sides. Here's an example here. Now, in Knox County, the driver was on an ATV or all-terrain vehicle. A passenger on the back was airlifted to a hospital. Now, police told me both kinds of vehicles can be extremely dangerous if you don't take precautions. TV6 Investigates obtained Iowa crash data going back five years, and fatalities are on the rise. Twelve people died on off-highway vehicles last year in Iowa, up from seven in 2019. All told, 41 people have died. An additional 220 were injured. I asked the Iowa State Patrol what's contributing to the rise, and according to one trooper, it's speed, impairment, and not wearing seatbelts. Morgan? All right, Matt, thank you.